This is courtesy of Lace Up HK. It's an Instagram page that has somehow managed to get their hands on a soon to be released Jound New Balance 990 V3s. This might be iteration number four, I think. There were two kind of, yeah, and then a black navy colorway. Yeah, I think this might be edition number four. So it looks like these sneaker brands, for the most part, when they're collaborating with legitimate kind of what would you call them when, when, they're legit, when they're collaborating with like legitimate or let's say respected figures within streetwear or within menswear or whatever you want to call this space it looks like most of them aren't trying to do the one hit and done they're usually trying to sign contracts where they are able to do several different projects several different shoes several different capsule collections or just maybe even build up to the capsule collections going forward you don't really see a lot of one hits and dones anymore there's no more one night stands when it comes to collaborations it feels like all the bigger brands realize the value that these guys and girls bring to their brand the eyes that they bring the customers the inbuilt customers they have they're going to bring into what they do and they hope that they can kind of get a bit of that rub and ride that into the sunset and it looks like new balance is no different they've definitely kind of backed out the brinks trucks um with new we've kind of jammed and gave him the ability to do these which also is great because it feels like maybe i'm not i don't know if it's true but are new balance and reebok owned by the same company or are they completely separate? Because that's also interesting that he's allowed or he's be, he's been given the license to continue doing collaborations with Reebok um, despite his close connection or his close relationship, working relationship with New Balance. They're both athletic shoe brands. We'd imagine there'd be some sort of exclusivity to do because that's what Nike does, right? When you do a collaboration or you're married up with Nike, it's very rare people that are with Nike decide to go to Adidas or whatever, right? Unless you're like, um, what's his face? Unless you're like that guy that did that shoe, the Air Max one that I'm thinking of. Because he kind of got booted off on that, supposedly, right? Is that the story that goes? Supposedly, did he nick something or something? Or what happened? He fell out with somebody and then he went to Adidas and made those shoes that everyone hates and clans him on. But yeah, it doesn't really work that way in terms of, you know, being able to work for all the brands. I wish it could. I wish you could get to a point in, in kind of culture where you could work for New Balance and do a shoe. Then you could jump on Asics. Then you could go to Mizuno. Then you could go to Diodora. Then you could jump to Adidas. And then you could go to Nike. Right, off the, you could go to Nike off the back of an Adidas color, but I wish that could be a thing. I really do. Like, imagine if, like, for instance, um, Nike wanted to collaborate with Kanye, specific, specifically on his shoe, right? So it wouldn't be the, it wouldn't be anything to do with Adidas or Yeezy. It'll be a separate thing that Ye kind of does. Let's say underneath that moniker, that'd be sick. In the same way that Matthew Williams is able to do collaborations with Nike under his moniker of like Matthew M Williams, and then he's also able to do shoes with Nike under Alix. Right, and I'm sure if he wants to and do a collaboration with Givenchy, that'll come under Givenchy, right? Designed obviously by Matt Williams, sort of thing. Um, Virgil obviously does a similar sort of thing with Off White when he does a shoe with Nike in that way. That would be pretty decent. I, I would honestly really, 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 really like to see that going forward, but they don't. Um, the only person I can think of who's slightly maybe in that sort of ilk is maybe Hiroshi Fujiwara, but even him, I can't think of a, an official Adidas collaboration that he'd done. What I can remember him doing back in the day when Adidas was start, Adidas was, yeah. When it felt like I, at the time when Adidas were starting to get their feet wet with the whole Adidas Originals thing, and they were starting to remake all the Adidas campuses in their original shapes, with the you know this with the original lacing and the kind of flat outsole and all that sort of stuff with the Adidas eighties and all the campuses, all that sort of attention to detail was getting sorted out, and obviously a lot of those shoes were very popular around the. 80s when all those guys were coming up in Harajuku and whatnot and traveling to the New York and you know going to flipping record stores and whatnot and hanging out with James Jebbia back in the day all those shoes are very popular I remember he was actually wearing a couple of those shoes on Instagram page and basically flexing I mean like oh yeah I remember this when I was flipping 15 you know what I mean and I'm 76 now you know I love you I'm, I'm joking around but I wish I could be a thing but anyway moving on fourth iteration of Jound and New Balance 990 V3 they now come in what looks like some sort of washed or somehow yeah kind of a washed out pastely looking olivey kind of colorway um maybe I would say I would go as far as to say these might be the weakest of the shoes of the four so far that have come out from the Jound studio in terms of an overall colorway I do like the fact that they do have this thing that they do with um New Balance or just in terms of the color selection. That's one thing I'm going to say. Even though I don't like the, the, the colorway, I do like the application of thought that's going into it. Like, for instance, the N on the shoe, it looks like it's black. It looks like it's dark navy. But actually, when you go to the next slide, it's more of a green. 
right? It's more like of a really dark green that they basically put on the end. And I love the idea of how they use different colors. Like again, with like the previous New Balance, like from afar it looks like it's all black, but when you once you go up close, it's a really dark blue, almost similar to like you know when people they say um. Um, guys from what's that country in Africa it's like Sudan they have that sort of tint in terms of their skin where they're so dark there's almost I remember my mom saying it like when she went there when she was younger like it's, it's a beautiful to see them in terms of skin color because they're so dark they're almost purple it's almost like a bluey cobalty like colorway do you know what I mean it's really really funny it's really really uh, f um, interesting to see somebody with that sort of skin tone right? I mean baking in the sun glistening it looks amazing I think they did a good job with how they casted the models in that shoot too but I love the application of the colors just not a fan of the actual makeup and how it looks put on the shoe and I think easily these might be the weakest or the ones that people will end up skipping on the most obviously not this is the funny thing about shoes and collaborations, right? These obviously, in my opinion, again, just, you know, speaking from my expert opinion when it comes to shoes and shit, after many years of buying them and being part of the scene, I would easily say that these are the weakest ones. If you were to sell all four at once, these would definitely be the ones that would sell out last. But because we're living in a hype era and because people love collaborations, they're still going to sell out regardless because Jound and Justin Saunders, his name fucking rings heavy, right? He's got, he's got real clout in the game and people just want to have a pair of Jounds on their feet. And again, if you're into the New Balance hype and you want to get something that isn't a GR, what better way than to get this shoe because you're not going to find that colorway ever again in fucking retail, right? That's one thing as well. That's one thing New Balance do really, really well. I've got to give them credit. Unlike Nike, when you do a collaboration with them, they don't just immediately go out six months later and put it out as a GR. They give you some time to kind of enjoy your fucking collab, right? To enjoy the exclusivity of it. Like, and just, especially if you're, if you're the person designing it, let alone the person that bought it. Imagine you queued up, you spent all day F5ing and then you turn around and they're selling the same fucking makeup of colorway, similar-ish in fucking office and size and shit. You'll be spitting feathers, you know what I mean? But yeah, these could easily be the weakest if they all released in four. If they release all four at once, but they don't, they're quite smart. They drop them all individually. And because they're a collaboration, they're still going to sell out regardless. But, you know, I'm not really a big fan of the overall makeup um, of the colorways in general, but I like the application. Again, I like the clever use of the dark tones when it comes to the greens. Um, I'm sure that insole is probably, or the inner lining is probably the same sort of colorway. I love the lack of branding or the subtlety of the branding on the entire thing. I think with the exception of that jound um, stamp that looks like on the back of the reflected tip, which is obviously screen printed, there's nothing else. No else of iconography. I'm sure they've got something on the insole, but that's about it. So yeah, really nice to see. Um, supposedly it's coming in next week, supposedly. That's what they're saying. I haven't really seen any news on that for courtesy of John. Let's see what he's saying. I haven't seen any news of him saying it's going to be next week um, so far, but maybe something has changed that I've completely missed. Let's see what they're saying here in terms of next week. It's funny, man. I was on this, honestly, John, this is a page I used to watch or check from back in the day. I remember a couple of my pictures that I used to take in terms of street style were actually uploaded on his blog back in the day, which is quite a cool little claim to fame, I think. Mm, is it a claim to fame is cool really to say you've got your picture of your own shoes appeared in the blog that no one could tell are yours not really probably but anyway um yeah i don't see any information about the new new balances on here people are lying oh these new boots are fucking bad bad these are some bad boy boots are they there are they um how do you call them okay i thought they're demon okay they're dana boots especially these on the right oof fucking fire man but they both look great so again great I, I just love the subtlety of their colorways they tend to kind of always, you know, um, go for uh, a very subtle kind of colorway combos, but still co colorway combos that you not you can't specifically get like from the brand themselves, but still something that kind of harkens back to the archive, still looking fresh and modern. But yeah, anyway, new balances coming soon. Not sure when they drop. Not sure when they drop. 